Hello everybody, Nerd Dad 5000 out for another mystery camping trip. Now according to directions, I'm only maybe 10 minutes away from my camping spot when I still have no idea where that is. Uh, once again, my wife gave me, this time she actually gave me a list of directions uh, with an address at the end, uh, list of things, you know, about phone number to call, list of things at the campsite. So this one's got drinkable water and toilets and showers and the campfire. No electricity at the site, which will be fine. Uh, I can charge things in the car if I need to, and I brought my battery to charge things. Yeah, but I'm close now, and even though the directions were good and I was following them, I wasn't sure exactly where I needed to go next, so I did Google Maps it. Uh, it didn't give anything away. It, there was a tiny little, since I'm on my phone, you know, it was a tiny little picture of the spot, but I couldn't tell anything. It didn't have a name listed, so uh, I'm going to continue using the Google Maps the rest of the way. And once I get there uh, and get checked in, I'll check back with you guys in a little bit. In a quarter mile, your destination will be on the right. All right, should be getting close now. Or not. sure where I'm turning in at. 3443. I think I just went blue past it. All right, finally got turned around. Once again, like before, there were not a lot of side roads out through here. It's all like this road and people's driveways, and I don't like turning around in people's driveways. I did finally find one. I've spun back around looking for 3443. Now, I did see a spot with some campers. 43 will be on my side of the road, maybe. That could be it. I'm actually not sure. 3443. Since I don't know the name of the place I'm going, I'm... Oh, 3443. This looks like it. Something to do with horses. Yeah, she told me she was going to try to get me something to do with horses soon. Because she's always loved horses. And so she said she was going to sign me up for something with horses. So I guess she's decided to do it this time. Look, there's horses over there. Hi, horses. Don't know where the camping spots are. Uh, just gonna pull up in here and get checked in, find out where my camping spot is, and I'll be right back. Camping. It's across the street. I'm still not sure where across the street. Maybe that place where the gate is. Don't know. I'm just gonna pull over and pull in there and then find somebody. Find out where camping is. Oh, 3443. It's a sign right there. That's the one I was looking for. All right, let me go check in over here. And then I'll be back. Still looks like it's horses. Look, horses in the field. Can you see them? Hi, horses. All right, so I think I found the spot. Let me turn the AC down. I think I found the spot. Uh, the address matches. Uh, it looks like there's some other folks camping. Uh, but the gates are closed, and there's two different gates, and I'm not sure which one I'm supposed to be going to. So I've called the number, waiting for a message back from them, because all I got was their voicemail. So I think while I'm doing that, I will take a second and open the envelope. Uh, so like I said, it says there's, you know, available drinking water and toilets and showers and campfires allowed. Uh, they do provide the wood, so that's good. Uh, there is no electricity at the campsite. That's no problem. All right, so the place I am at is Silk Purse Farm. You're in for a weekend of relaxation, fun, therapy, digging in the dirt, and animal fun. Take your time exploring the farm, petting the animals, and digging in the garden. You have a horseback riding session. See Michelle to set up a time. You can also help with brushing and the horses and mucking the stalls. Get farmy. You can even grab some fresh eggs right out of the coop. All right, so this is like a whole farming experience, not necessarily just horses. Let me see, she put a little note on here. Let's see all the pictures. Oh. Say hi to Marsha for me. I wonder who Marsha is. Love, Allie. Allie's my wife. Alright, so I met with Rick and he brought me basically to what is the back side of the farm. And this is the view from my camping spot. So he says this is an 18 total acre farm. They have goats, they have horses, 
I'm actually in the middle of the horse field. So at any point, horses could come walking right up to me or by in the middle of the night. Or, he said, keep an eye on a couple of them. He pointed those out to me. He said, we will try to grab your stuff and run off with it. So, mostly food, he said, but I'll keep an eye. It's nice here. Yeah, it's quiet. I'm actually under a big tree, kind of right toward the back side of the field. So. All right, so I'm going to kind of keep this low because I got neighbors now and I don't want to mess up their camping. But, as part of these mystery campings, when my wife sends me out on these, I never fully know, well, I don't know anywhere I'm going, so I never fully know what to pack. So I decided this would be as good a time as any to drag my old backpack out of the closet. And I say old backpack, it's actually brand new. It's never been out camping before. And I was gonna to try to see if I could get everything in there that I needed for a two night camp. If I was gonna park the car and walk into the woods, could I get everything in there? Did I get most everything in there? Yes. Did I get everything I would need for two days? No. But let's see what I did get packed in there. All right, so probably most important, matches. Plenty of matches. My two cup Stanley cooking set. My brand new, just got this right before this trip. This is my Ecotech outdoor camping pad because last time the ground was hard and even sleeping on top of two sleeping bags it wasn't soft enough so I did manage to get my tent and the tent pegs into the backpack and the poles so if I was hiking out of the woods I would have at least had shelter watching a bunch of camping videos to see what you do when you to set up after it's been raining a while and something I never thought of put a tarp down under the tent it also helps wear and tear on the bottom of the tent so I actually packed two I didn't know if it was gonna rain what the weather was this weekend so that was ready for that. Got my camping cook set. Now you saw this last video. I really only used it to eat out of. I didn't get a chance to actually use it. Uh, I am gonna to try to use it this time. Fuel for that. I've also got my big two burner uh, Ozark Trail camping stove that runs all the green propane cans. Didn't manage to get two of those in there. Also brought this blanket. It's the only thing I'm gonna use for cover tonight because uh, whereas it was 37 degrees when I was camping before at night. It's only supposed to be about 60 tonight, so I'm not going to need much. Uh, side pouch over here. I got some paracord. Don't know if I'm going to need that or not. Bug spray. Don't usually carry bug spray, but probably a good thing I did because it's actually kind of buggy today. Flashlight because if I need to go to the bathroom, I'm going to have to trek up down across the field down to one of the barns. That's where the bathroom and the shower is. And of course, lantern for the tent. Front pouch here. I've got some wipes for my hands, got some Walmart bags and some trash bags. You never know when you'll need those. And I think that's everything. Now, clearly, there's no food here and no water here. So if I was going to hike off into the woods, I would need to take some of these things out. Probably we would get rid of these, which would allow for a pretty good sized jug of water. Uh, there's no sleeping bag either. I'd have to figure out a way to attach that, but maybe just the camping pad and the blanket might be enough if it's warm. But I'm going to try to get use, some use out of all of this stuff this weekend and my camping stove. But now that I've got the tent out and the tarps out, ready to get that set up.
All right, so the tent's set up, the tarp is under it. I gotta tuck it in a little more. It's staked down. I don't think I'm gonna put the rain fly on right away, but I'm gonna get the uh, sleeping bags moved in, some of my stuff moved in, uh, camping pad inflated and put it in place. And then uh, we'll see how everything looks after that. All right, so the camping pad went right up inside the black sleeping bag. Feels super squishy. Squishy, is that a word? Squishy, soft, whatever. Uh, should be a lot better than my last camp, which was basically just on top of the black sleeping bag and the one other one. And this was a nice flat sandy spot, so I shouldn't really have any problems. I've got the other sleeping bag just in case I need it. I've got the blanket over here for cover, so that should be plenty. I'm gonna get everything else in the tent, and then depending on the time, uh, maybe we'll go do a quick walk around. All right, so second thought, I'm literally parked feet from the tent. So I think anything that, except for what I'm gonna actually sleep on or under, I'm just gonna leave in the car. So when I get up in the morning to change clothes, I can just grab the clothes, the shower's down in one of the barns, there's bathrooms down there. I'll just grab that stuff and take it with me then, but it can just sit in the car. So it's less to unpack, less to repack later. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and get the rain fly on. Lately, we've been having a lot of uh, heavy dews in the morning and I don't want that settling in on me in the middle of the night. And then I'm just gonna sit and enjoy the view for a little while and cool off because it is warm. It's a lot warmer today than it has been. Yeah, and then like I said, after we get everything done, uh, we'll go tour the place. you while you're eating but like remember the ones I filmed earlier and showed the footage of they are now moved in a lot closer including a little guy right there that's a donkey pretty sure it's a donkey oh this guy's coming a little closer look at you Look at you, you soft nose. I bet that's a soft nose. Look at this baby. He came up and like wanted some pets. I feel like I'm in the middle of their uh, trail to their food. Because they keep walking right through. Where'd the other one go? Oh, he is over here. Look at you, you're gonna get a meal, I like it. What else we got? No, they're the only guys close. Did I park on your, did I park on your grass? I'm sorry. guy he's come right into the middle of the camp I had to get stop him from going in the tent I must be sitting right on their best grass because they seem to like what's around here uh oh did you get a bug
All right, so when we got here, he was pointing stuff out to me. And of course, everything is down around the main farm area, including the bathroom. Uh, so I probably should go find out where that is now before, you know, once it gets dark and I've got to do a middle of the night visit. Let's go walking and see what is down there to see. Hi, horses. Hi, BB. Look at you. Yes, you're a pretty big horse, aren't you? You got bugs? I sorry. You want a pet too? I give you a pet too. Yes, I see. Oh, yes. Oh, squirrels. I got squirrels too. I guess there's squirrels everywhere. And some horses to see me. Oh, you're the Appaloosa. You're the one that's mischievous. Hi. Yes. Aren't you a pretty baby? Yes, you are. Look at that nose. Yes. You're not too mischievous. You just like a good pet, don't you? Look at this mane. All right, I'm gonna you going by. I'm gonna go. Are you following me? Okay. ducks in the water over here. He got chickens. He actually said we could have some of the fresh eggs from the chickens. Look at the chickens coming running. Hi chickens. I wanted a big old turkey. He said I could go out that gate. There's goats sleeping on a trampoline. Yeah, so this is the walk I'll have to make in the middle of the night if I have to use the bathroom. So I'm going to try to make sure I get this done, you know, before it gets too dark. There we go. It's Goose. Hi, Goose. All right, you probably don't want to see what I'm getting ready to go in here to do, so uh, I'll be back in a second. Yep, here's a quick look. Those goats are relaxing. They like being on that trampoline. Yeah, this one poor guy up here all by himself. It's a great beard. Like it a lot. I think I might have chased off the chickens. They were just like right there. Oh, look at these tinies. And over here on the tarp. Look at them. I'm not going to go too close. I don't want to mess with them. I see sheep. Let's go see the quick look at the sheep. No, that's more goats. My bad. Hi. Hi. Got some big boys with some big horns over here. Look at him. You might not be able to see him on the camera. Hi. This little guy. Hi. He's looking at me like, are you here to see me? Yes. Yes, I am. This guy back here rubbing his horns. And I think he's eating. We'll get into some more of this stuff tomorrow. Hi, goat. It's already after five tonight, so it'll be dinner time soon. He said we'll get up tomorrow. Tomorrow's a horse ride day. I don't know which horse. He pointed to one that he said he thought was going to be the one. I think it's one of the ones up in the field, but dark colored one that was following the Appaloosa. Yeah, so he's like, make yourself at home. So I'm going to walk around. I think I'm going to go ahead back to the camp for now, though. Pass back through the herd of horses. Although it looks like they've kind of spread out at this point. More geese. There's a lot of geese. <laughs> There's one in the water bucket splashing. It is hot, so I'm sure that feels good. Well, that, you, like to have, you like having a splash? Yeah, I think he likes having a splash. Whoop. This is me. Oh, didn't mean to spin around that much. It's me going through the gate. All right, look. So from the farm to me, to where I'm camped, that's the camp dead center, all the way at the top of the hill. So let's head back. Sorry, squirrels. I'll leave you alone. Here 
comes my buddy again. Hello. Yep, I still got nothing for you. I got no food. I've been told not to feed you. You following me now? Okay. So it seemed like a really nice shady spot uh, when I first got here and for most of the day turned into a spot in the direct sunlight for most of the evening and just a little while ago it's getting close to eight o'clock uh, the sun finally got below the trees and this fire pit where I was planning to cook is now in the shade so for tonight one of my all-time favorite camping treats dinner is gonna be hot dogs on the stick on the fire with mustard uh, but unlike last time where I just ate hot dogs on the stick with mustard I have upped the game so this time the stick was trying to get away this time there are buns and coleslaw because there's not a whole lot better than a, a good hot dog with mustard and coleslaw so uh, we're gonna get the fire started first and then we'll get to cooking some hot dogs All right, looks like it's gonna go. We're gonna give it a second and then we'll start cooking. Oops, need a spoon for the slaw. delicious just like I thought they would be uh, I gotta get the fire up and going again probably gonna knock a couple more of these away and then just spend some time this evening enjoying the fire it'll be dark soon probably bedtime soon I was up late last night and got up early this morning to get started 
so we'll see. But uh, yeah, a little more food, a little more fire, and then to bed. All right, everybody, fire is out. Uh, neighbors are in bed. Looks like the folks in the farmhouse um, that run the place are in bed for the night. Still hear a lot of traffic on the road, the road that runs right out in front of the place, and I think we must not be too far from some other kind of main road because off in the distance that way you can hear a lot of traffic. And then straight behind us, like coming through the woods, there's uh, what sounds like music, so we must not be too far away from somebody else's house or some place where they're playing music. It is only 10.15, but uh, I was up late last night and up early this morning, uh, so kind of feeling kind of tired. Got kind of a busy day tomorrow. At some point today, I'm meeting somebody named Michelle, and I guess I'm t getting a writing lesson. Nerd wife said she was going to get me on a horse at some point. I didn't think it would be the second mystery camp, but here it is. Uh, so yeah, got to get up, have breakfast, going to go take a shower. Checked out the shower spot earlier. It's pretty nice. Then I'll you know, see what I got to do to meet with Michelle and get the horse. Uh, I think we're allowed to get in with the other animals in their pens, so I'm going to go see the goats and uh, some of the other animals. Got to be honest, I kind of thought horses went to bed at night. Uh, but right now, like just outside, there are horses roaming around and eating and going... And there's a pond over that way that I haven't seen, but he was pointed out to me when uh, he was showing me my camping spot. And... Sounds like it's full of toads. There's frogs and toads all over there. Of course, the usual sound of crickets all around. Uh, some dogs barking off in the distance. But other than that, um, the new camping pad I've laid down on it seems like it's going to be pretty good. I've got the camping pad inside the big black sleeping bag. And then I went ahead and pulled out the other sleeping bag, turned it inside out, so it's I got kind of a soft uh, material to lay on instead of you know the shiny outside of the sleeping bag uh, and then I've got my blanket I'm just going to cover up with that that should be good finally tested it out laid in all the directions and found one that doesn't feel like my head is below my feet so should be good so yeah I'm gonna lay down here try to get some sleep and then we'll see everybody in the morning